come here to fetch firewood. For all I know, this forest provides firewood for more than 80% of our people. Yet, they do not ask us to pay for a dime. Free of charge, Osoti. But why should they ask us to pay? Is there someone helping us? Are we not the one fetching the firewood ourselves? Eh, uh -huh, now. Because Okwe Forest is behind your father's compound. In the road. Wow. What are you saying? When other people come to our Kisi River, before they even set foot in the water, our men are there like tigers, asking them to pay for them just to fish. So? And so? You're saying and so? When we come here to fetch value, do, do we pay them? And we collect money from them? Collect from money from other people when they come to, to fish in our water? Peace, they say, is supreme. It's just unfortunate that Esuka people do not value peace. Let me advise you. Don't let our men hear you say this rubbish you're saying. They will just beat you up. If Ugonian, is that not the troublemaking I'm talking about? They are ready to beat a maiden up just because she's saying the truth. Oh. There's something you don't understand. I'll break it down for you. Our people are smart. We use every opportunity we get to make money. The other people are not. So is it our fault? My friend, my friend. By that you think Money is everything up here. Hey, why would you say a thing like that? I don't just think. I know. Money is everything. <laughs> Beautiful maidens of Ezuka Kingdom, resting in the forest of the peaceful Okwela. Greetings. We greet you too. <laughs> why would you greet him? Why are you talking to him? Listen to me. I know you're from Okwe. Don't come anywhere close to us because if you do, you will not like it. Don't come anywhere. Get her from this place. Don't come anywhere close to me. I'm warning you. What kind of useless question is this? You are thinking you just come here and fish freely without paying anything to the owners of the river? Can you imagine? Ah, uh, great friends of uh, the great Ezuka kingdom. The river is a free gift from the gods. It has been serving all the kingdoms around here. We all came here and met it. I mean, so uh, why have you suddenly decided to start collecting levies from the people? Listen to me, human of Okwe. I don't... If I, we don't have time for this your nonsense question and answer at all, at all. It is established already that once any strange man, any foreigner, is fishing in, 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 in our river, the person must pay fishing levy. Yes. Now you man of Okwe, I'm asking you. But why is it so? Better than we are. They're not. That man didn't show any sign of someone who looked down on anybody. He's a nice man. I can say he's a gentleman. What makes you think he's a gentleman? Mwago, listen. Was it because I used my matcher to ward him off? Do you know what he would have done to us? You don't even have an idea. You should be thanking me. <laughs> Osodi, my friend. That man came and greeted us. If he was looking at us as inferior, he would not have greeted us. And that your nonsense cutlass would not have done anything to defend you if he had intentions of attacking you. I don't I don't care. I don't care what you think. Oh. Whatever it is you want to do. Believe it or what? Well, that's the trouble making I'm talking about. The guy didn't do anything. You already yeah. started attacking him. I just don't want to be friends with the open people. That is it. 
Greetings to you, my father, the king. The great Ezokwe, the first of Okwe kingdom. May you live long. Greeting, my son. You shall read after me. He said, Oh, father, I had fun. That is why I called you. I can't understand the news going round in the palace that you left without your palace guard. Why should you do such a thing? Father, is there anything wrong with that? I just went fishing at uh, 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 Nkisi River. It's unbelievable. I have enough fishes here in this palace to last for months. Why in this world are you going on fishing? Father, for recreation, I, 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 I got bored of the life of solitude and quietness in the palace. So I left without the royal apparatus into a, a land where nobody knows me. But truth be told, Father, that trip made me to understand so many things about our kingdom and other kingdoms. What are you talking about? Father, why is it that whenever we go to fish at Nkisi River, we are made to pay what they call fishing levy to the young men of Ezuka Kingdom. But when they come to a great Obago forest to fetch firewood, we do not collect anything from them. Now, I, there's something I want to understand. Is it that we are cowards or is it that we do not know how to make money from what our ancestors have left for us? I'm not going to answer any of these questions because the trip that gave rise to them did not receive royal blessing. Don't allow what happened today to repeat itself. Yes, Father. Don't allow it. If you must go out, go out with rare guys. And if you are going with rare guys, don't stray across the border. You are not allowed to do that. I'm sorry, Father. I, 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 I did not mean to make you angry. Let it be the last time to happen. Yes, Father. My daughter, <coughs> the kind of friends a woman keeps will affect her sense of reasoning and way of life. Osodi, you are my only daughter. Eh? And I'm telling you now that I don't want to ever see you going out with Wongo. Hey, Nam, but why? Papa. Is it because of that thing I told you that she said about our people? It would be so unfair if you have to judge her based on that. See, Papa, Wongo is a very good maiden. She's a workaholic. She's the kind of maiden that makes other maidens even work harder. Papa, please. Any maiden who has Wongo as a friend is lucky. Papa, why are you talking about her like this? Eh? Why? The problem with you is that you don't know anything. Where if you are today in answer. Eh? And let me tell you, I don't want you to argue with me on this matter anymore. I'm telling you now, I don't want to ever see you with that one girl again. Ever again. Hey, now. Okay, for me. Eh? Wongo is my very good friend and, and I like her. I like her. But I don't know why you why this tough sanction. Oh, sorry. I want to be left in No, no, no. See the guy not there now. Come on. children will be as lazy as both of you. What did I just hear you say? Bia, 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 wongo. Are we the ones you are referring to as lazy women? Eh? Eh? 
Did you hear yourselves? Naga, take this heap of clothes and ensure you wash them. Make sure they're dry before sunset. The other one goes, Naga, take this plantain, roast it, and make it ready before dinner. Naga is still the one that will cook the dinner. At present, Naga is making lunch. What do you people think Naga is? A locomotive engine or what? Naga, let me understand what you mean. Are you saying you're not going to wash those clothes or you're not going to roast that plantain? Are you possibly asking us to do the work you are supposed to do as a slave? Hey! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ogonna, or whatever they call it. Ogonna. If you ever open that your dirty stinking mouth to call me a slave again, eh? If you can make it here. And if she doesn't call you a slave, what then will she call you? Oh. Hey. Hey. See, eh? Both of you should just get out of my sight. If you know what is good for you, get out of my sight. I don't even know who I'm talking to. Idiots like you, lazy girls. What is the matter with you? What gave you the gut to talk to my sister and I? Give me a Give you Give me Give me a Give me
You really enjoy the fish pepper soup. You can say that again. You know, I actually caught that fish myself. Ah, and I love the way the cook prepared it. That's good. Uh, but my prince, the king your father, he was not happy that you left the palace alone. Oh, oh don't worry. I have already taken care of that issue. I mean, the king should understand that I'm a man now and cannot be confined to the palace all the time. I mean, I need to go out and mix with the people. Besides of all, my going out opened my eyes to so many things I wouldn't have known if I remained here at the palace. Really? Yeah. How do you mean? What are those things you found out? I will not compel our people to start collecting levies from people of other kingdoms who come to fetch firewood from the Obago forest. That would be outright wickedness. Yeah. I want us to send an emissary to the people of Ezuka kingdom. To let them know that it is not right for them to place levies on our people when they come to fish at Nkisi. They do that? Yes! I humble myself before the court. Yeah, what is it, my dear? The cook would like to know what you want to have for dinner. For dinner. <laughs> What's that your name again? Ugaboi. Ivo. <laughs> do tell the cook that uh, I cannot eat anything today. Okay? Uh, also let her know that I send her my regards and I appreciate her outstanding services. Okay? I'll repeat your exact words. Ridiculous! And I won't tolerate it. My friends, you're getting it all wrong. Gobe is a beauty to behold. But I was not lost in after her. I was just admiring her beauty. Let it be as you say. If you start anything stupid in this palace, you won't like me. Now get out! Papa, why is it that each time we call Mwango a slave, she gets angry? Eh? Is she not a slave? My daughters, there is no slave that wants to be addressed as such. You know why? Why, Papa? There is always a stigma attached to slavery. That was why the progressives were never sold into slavery. Are you saying that Mongo was never a progressive girl? That was why she was sold into slavery. I may not be right. If I say that Mongo was sold into slavery, because she was never sold into any slavery. Papa, you're confusing us. We know that Umwoko is not one of us. And we also know that you brought her from somewhere which makes her a slave. What exactly do you mean by she was never sold into slavery? <laughs> uh, my children, please listen. There is a tradition in Odias that has faded away. Before now in Odias, when you do any great thing for any man of others, he would not give you cow as we do here. He will rather give you a young girl that you can grow and nurture into a wife or anything. The gift of a young girl is the greatest gift any man of others can give to another man. I set a son of a great man of others from a hungry leopard, which would have torn him to pieces. I killed the leopard with my bare hands. Hey! I remember that day. Wow, Papa. <laughs> he 
You see, my daughters, in appreciation to what I have done, this man gave me one call as a gift which is in line with their tradition. <laughs> wow, Papa. <laughs> when was this? That was few years before your bed. I brought her to Ezuka here and then her walk up. As she was growing under the custody of your mother, she forced me into an oath. That was before she died. That I will never make her my wife. But Papa, were you ever planning to marry her? <laughs> it was just uh, your mother's imagination that I may eventually end up marrying a young girl that is of the same age with my daughters. I entered into that oath because I never had such intention. Hmm. Papa, is she aware of all this? I am certain she knows that she is not of this family or even this town. But surely she doesn't know where she came from because she was still tender the time she was given to me. Hmm. Papa, if not for the work she's doing here, I would have asked you to send her back to where you brought her from. <laughs> I won't even try that. Because sending her back to Adias will trigger the anger of Odumiwele, the Brahman god of Odias people. Sending her back will probably be as if I have rejected a gift meant to me by a great man of Odias. Odumiwele does not take it lightly with any man who does that. So you see why I can never try or think of sending her back. Ozodi, what is it? Why are you not talking to me? I called you, 
because I'm bothered about something. You are next in command to me. And people look unto you for direction. Now, I want you to direct me on something. Igwe, I am at your service. What troubles the great Ezeokwe of Okwe Kingdom? My son, Nana, the heir apparent to the throne, is ripe for marriage. And the girl we groomed for him is getting old. And Nana is not talking about marriage. Now, uh, I want us to discuss like elders. Um, shall we continue waiting endlessly as the chief priest instructed? Ezo, you are the king. Obukalo, you are the prime minister of Obukalo. I, Gobenoji, the mouthpiece of the gods. Chief Priest of Obey. The three of us are serving this kingdom in three different ways. Gobenoji, I don't know why you should talk in this way. But when you speak like this, I know that something has come up. What is it? Governable because they shall go out of the ways of our fathers and start something else. The calamity that will come thereafter will make us all to cry to our ancestors and ask, Where are they? Uh, 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 uh. With all due respect, You are scaring us. You are supposed to guide us, not scare us. Why are you laying courses on the land? Oh, Bukalo, you did not allow me to finish. What I say shall befall this land if we impose a wife. waters of Uwe and became the crown prince. The gods and ancestors of Uwe revealed to me that he should be allowed to choose a wife for himself. I don't know why you should say something like this. But we have a woman in this kingdom. Daughter of Obudu, of Adabowe, whom we have groomed for him right from bed. She is the person. Uh, Your Majesty, the people that are grooming her should do everything possible to ensure that our coming king loves her when he sees her. If he fails to like her, we cannot impose her on him, else! Iwe! Iwe! Calamity shall befall Ope! Iwe! 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 To become a man, then desire for a wife. As long as he has not desired for a wife, nobody should inform him about the maiden that is being groomed for him.
Igwe, if you will listen to me, I will suggest we continue waiting for the young man to grow into a man and desire a woman as instructed by the chief priest. My candid advice. What if we wait until the end of the year and he did not say anything about marriage? Are you possibly suggesting that we should continue waiting forever? Igwe, I know how concerned you are. All fathers do. But one thing we must not do is to counter the chief priest. We must wait. Waiting for the prince to confront us with the issue. And then we will tell him about the meeting. Where are you coming from? No, I'm coming from our place. From your place? And where are you going to? No, it's one or go. Uh-huh. No, I, I came to see Ozodi, my friend. I met her along the path when I was coming back from the river earlier this evening. And she didn't talk to me. I don't know what I did wrong to her. Are you listening to yourself? You met somebody on the way from the, on the road. She did not talk to you. And then you decided to come to visit her to Ibu Nu. You are such a useless woman. No. I said, leave my compound now. Before I show you why I was advised to stop participating in the bullfight in the Ezuka Kingdom. I said, leave my house now. And let me warn you immediately. I don't want to ever see your legs in this compound again. And I don't ever want to hear you refer to my daughter as your friend. If it happens again, I will cut off those your two left legs. And then you will regret your life. Useless woman. She remains the only friend I have in this kingdom. Countless number of times she has saved me risking her life. Papa. I used to parade myself as a warrior, but I know that my physical strength is nothing compared to hers. She loves me, and she's committed to our friendship. Why are you treating her like this? Why? Oh, sorry. Don't provoke me. Don't resurrect the bullfight in me. Leave my presence now. I said, leave my presence before I cut off your ears that look like that of a squirrel. into this. Papa. You want to bring shame into this my house? You want to bring shame to my house in this kingdom? That is, you want to become pregnant in my house? Hey, 
Papa, I've not done anything wrong. Go. I have not done anything untoward. Where are you coming from? Papa, I went to see my friend Ozod in her house. And that's where I'm just coming from now. I told Ogonna to tell you that if you start to look for me, that I, I went there, that I, I, won't, I won't waste time. I'm, I'm here already. Hey. Liar! Papa, she didn't tell me anything. Ogonna! Ogonna, why? I told you to tell Papa that I went to see Ozodi in case he starts to look for me. Why, why are you lying? Mwango, do you want to bribe me or what? Eh? Oh! So you want to lure me into lying to my father, eh? Hey! You're not serious. Hey! Papa, where is Yoko Kana Gwagyo? Where is Yoko? She didn't tell me anything now. Now, Mwango, tell me, where are you coming from? I'm sorry, I was just provoked, just a little. Wait, wait, wait. I'm just calling to tell you that I, I saw my friend Ozodi when I was returning from the river. She refused to talk to me. In fact, she didn't even utter a word. Is this the reason you called me out here? Eh? Hey! Hey! Ogonna. Itala. Hmm? What is my business, eh? With what you do with those useless girls in your class, eh? I, I thought I just said sorry to you. Eh, you didn't have to call us names. Anyway, I'm asking a favor of you. Please. Should Papa come back and start to look for me, tell him I've gone to us all this place. I won't be long, oh. Mm. <laughs> okay. Why are you whooping at me as if I have water in my mouth? I am asking you, where are you coming from? Papa, I went to GOBSA's compound to see us all in my friend, though. Hey, oh, come on, because you have to tell the truth. Tell Papa the truth. What I told you, what you before. Did you tell me anything? What did you tell me? Where? How? Where? What did you tell me? Papa, I don't mind how. Mumu, I'm going to. She says she was here. She here. Moyenka. Never. Hey. Now you're busy. I was here now. I, I came. I, I saw you. You were seated. Playing your zita. I greeted you. And you sent, shouted at me and sent me out of your compound. You see why? I don't want to see her anywhere near my daughter. She's a terrible liar. Hey. I said the garden. Now you're busy. I'm me. I came here, Papa. Ah, silly guy, say Papa. No, you're not. I, I was here, Papa. I'm not lying, no. I came here. I saw Nai. I greeted him. I told him I was here to see. That I'm here to see Ozodi. Da. He shouted at me and 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 and, and sent me out of this compound. Now you be saying because you know, tell Papa the truth. I, 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 Papa, I am terribly disappointed to know that. My father, whom I had respected all my life, is a liar. I can even deny an innocent maiden. Hey, Papa. Papa. Don't provoke me. Don't push me beyond my limit. Go and ask around the Zuka kingdom. A woman who is disowned by her father can never get married. Be careful. know your duties in this palace. That's good. Is there anything my prince will be needing because I will soon go to bed to rest my bones? Oh, uh, no, my dear Ugebe. Hey, you have done excellently well today. I don't want to disturb you again. You can go to sleep. You shall reign after your father. And you shall reign good. Good night, my friend. Good night, Ophel. Good night, Ophel. You know, 
she is endowed with all the qualities of a woman. Each time I look at her, I almost think of getting married. <laughs> My friends, now I know why you were angry at me earlier when I was admiring her beauty. You want to make her yours. I wonder what you're going to tell the king your father to allow you marry the maiden that serves you in the palace. You know the problem I always have with you is that you talk too much and you talk outright nonsense. Did I ever tell you I want to make her my wife? Did I? Now let me warn you. Don't you ever say that again. Did you hear me? I'm sorry my prince. It's gonna happen again. Now get out. I'm sorry my prince. You are going to stay like this until tomorrow. That is your punishment for developing into a loose woman under my nose. Papa, it should be seen like the case. Ogonna did the same thing to him. I'm telling you the truth, please. Eh? Don't push me to kill you. Don't force me to kill you. Don't attempt to kill any mosquito because the water in the cups may pour away in the process. And you cannot replace the water in the cups. Of course, you don't know the nature of the water. You will not sit the cup somewhere to sleep because, of course, you know that the cups will not sit. I will decide your fate in the morning. Do not push your luck too far. Because I'm telling you the truth because you know, because, because, because. Do not push your luck too far. you anything to go out there and tell father the truth would it what do you mean by telling him the truth i mean to tell him that she told you where she was going why would i do a thing like that eh amaka is that why you're disturbing me at this time of the night eh biko have a gamaka biko uh -uh. what hmm. is it hmm. remember remember what father told us about her remember what that she is affiliated to Odumiwele, the paramount god of Odeasi people. You lied against her. Go out there and tell father the truth. Save others' punishment because of the gods. Pia, 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 Maka. Hangwa Goku. Don't you ever talk to me about her again. Don't you ever. Eh? She deserves what she's getting. Mm. Please leave me alone, I beg. Mm. I, I sleep, I want to sleep. I have told you. Don't say I did not tell you. You, you know you don't have to hear. I told me be. I'm to sleep. I want to sleep. Come on, stop and sit down. Why did you call me out by this time? You're supposed to be sleeping by now. Huh? Ever since you started working in this palace, you have never undermined my powers. You've always been a wonderful maiden. I know I owe it to you whenever I have an important information to give it to you. I, I, I don't understand what you mean. What information do you have to give to me? Forget the look on his face. Forget the intimidation. He has master as the common king. Forget the fear he registers in people as one of the leaders of the masquerade court of Oko Kingdom. Forget all that. I, of all, will tell you that beneath all these postures lies love like never before. In summary, the prince loves you. 
Hey, Ova, what are you saying? Don't forget we are still in the palace. And the walls have ears. There are things you don't see. How can you possibly tell me that the prince, the heir apparent to the throne of Okwe Kingdom, likes me? Likes me for what? I didn't say like, my dear. I said love. And I mean every letter of it. The prince loves you. Your beauty. Your beauty has engulfed him. And he's thinking of making you his. My father told me that the marriage of the prince is guided by the gods and no one discusses it. I believe my father and I don't want to be part of this discussion again. Please. Uh, uh, no, hold on. Please hold, hold on. See? Huh? Please. For example, if the prince himself, Prince Nana, walks up to you and tells you that he wants you to be his wife, are you Gabi? Are you? Telling me or for that you say no to him. Kedonye bunne mo abona me we ine. Yes, Papa. Mom. Stop. Don't provoke me with that your lazy act to this morning. Stand up! 
there is no water in this house. Can you explain it? Papa, I filled all the pots and containers with water. I'm sure it was Ogona that wasted all the water in the house. What do you mean by I wasted the water in the house? Eh? Papa, don't mind how. I only took my bath. Ogona, you took your bath with three buckets of water yesterday. Amaka took hers with half a bucket of water. So, what you now do is to measure the quantity of water my angels use in this house? No, Papa. Ogona showed me too much wickedness in this house. I don't know what I did to her. If she wants to take her bath with lots of water, she come down to the river where I take mine too. Eh? And take her bath there. Ta! Make sure, Nogi. I say shut up your mouth. I am not a commoner. Mm -mm. I'm not a slave like you who only takes her bath in the open. I am a princess. Eh? So come on, she didn't see poor boy. So go and fetch me water. There's no water in the house. Go oh, now! Nah. Papa, do you have to go and fetch it now? There's no water in the house now. Oh God, now. Nah. You lied against me last night. You refused to tell Papa where I went to. After I begged you to tell him, I went to all this place. I was punished. I knelt down all through the night. Please, Papa, let me sleep for just a few hours before going to fetch more water and pick up. Walker, you have no right to sleep. Now, go now and fetch water for my end to freshen up for money. Go now! Go now, go! Papa, I'm gonna lie against her. She actually told her where she was going. And I'm sure she went there. I don't even know why Ichi or Obiese would lie to. Shut up your mouth and get out of my sight. Now! Out of my sight. Your conscience will judge you. Two of you, go inside! Papa, come, come here, come! I humble myself before the good king, Izuku, one of Oku kingdom. Your reign belongs, Majesty. What rubbish am I hearing in this palace? Ofo, what rubbish am I hearing? Where's the prince? I'm as surprised as you are, Your Majesty. He's not in the palace. Are you confirming that he left the palace again without the guards? Yes, Your Majesty. He left without any guard. He left before any of the guards could wake up, including myself. What is wrong with this boy? Hmm? What is wrong with this boy? Where could he be? I'm surprised, Your Majesty. He gave me his words that he's not going to leave the palace without any work, any guard. But I'm surprised he's not keeping to his word, Your Majesty. Hmm. The prince is not in this palace and uh, he didn't tell anybody where he has gone to. Your Majesty, he told me where he was going to so I allowed him to leave. You did what? You allowed my son to leave this palace without palace guards in direct disobedience to my orders. Why? But Your Majesty, you are the one that complained that 
your son is not thinking of getting married and it's because we don't allow him to mix with others. He told me he wants to go fishing in Kisi River. So I allowed him to go. I told him never to go fishing again. We have fishermen bringing enough fish in this palace. Why go fishing? Why? Fishes are not the only thing men fish for. Let him first of all break free from the cloak of fidelity. Then we'll take it from there. of a hard-working woman. Please, may I have the honor to you know your name? I'm sorry, I don't give my name to strangers. Oh, oh please, 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 wait. Please, 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 don't go. Just one minute. As a man of God, when we see people we appreciate, we give them gifts. Please, kindly accept my gift to you. The fishes I just caught today, please. Sorry, do, do, do not say no, please. I'm sorry, I can't accept your fish. I can't. I'm sorry, I but don't know you. It doesn't mean... You please, don't... please, I'm carrying a pot of water, please. But, but... I, I'm, I'm, I am I'm, sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. Why don't you just accept it? Maybe... I can. Oh! It's obvious you were sent by the gods to give me directives on how to meet that maiden again. My name is Ephraim Kara. I'm not confused with you. Uh -huh. Look at the fishes you are carrying. Fishes you caught from our Kisi River. Who did you pay your fishing levy to before you started, you started fishing to me? Uh, well, there was no one to pay levies to. But that is not a problem. You can have all the fishes I've caught today. Please, you can have it all. But just can you tell me who that maiden is? You can have it. <laughs> you can have it. <laughs> you are a good one. Who are you? I'm simply a man of Okwe. Please tell me who is that maiden? What, 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 what's her name? She is one of the few decent maidens still remaining here in Yezuka Kingdom. Almost all the men in the past that tried to humble her, none of them succeeded. She has a way she talks that can humble even the heart of the rapist. Oh, oh that, that's good. Uh, that's glorious. Uh, she just told me so many things about her now. Uh, I've, I've started having goosebumps. Uh, please, what's her name? Her name is Mwago, the daughter of a wealthy Unze of our Wenzuka kingdom. But she's not actually the daughter. She is a slave that he brought into this kingdom when she was a little girl. Many of the men and women of this kingdom, they believe she's one of us, that she's from Wenzuka. But those of us that participate in the masculine court of Wenzuka kingdom, we know she's not one of us. She's not from here. A slave, uh, how do you mean? Well, the information I gave you already is bigger than the pictures you gave me. And I'm not going to speak more. If you want additional information, then you have to pay me more. If you don't want to pay me more, then you have to move into so you can see if there is anybody that will tell you anything. Please, why don't you, why don't you help me? Please, can you help me? Can you help me, please? Why, why don't you? Listen, friend, listen, friend. We, you can, we can help each other. Mind that instruction. 
I, I, I'm sorry, Father. I, I just went fishing. That is what you said the other day. It is unacceptable. I can't accept that. I have fishermen that bring fishes inside this palace from time to time. And we have fishes here in this palace. Why would you tell me always that you've gone fishing? Why? Uh, Father, fish may not be the only thing men go for when they go fishing. Father, I, I'm now a man. And I, I want a woman I can call my wife. On the strength of what I've just said now, I've forgiven you completely. <laughs> this is the best thing I've had from you this year. Hmm? That's right. Oh, and the family, the family of your wife to be, will be delighted to hear that you, you have now finally decided to take their daughter as your wife. Uh, oh, 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 Father, I don't understand what you are talking about. What family are you talking about? Oh, my Emma is the name of the woman you are going to marry. <laughs> She's the daughter of Ogudo, of Adabowel. Now that I've indicated interest to marry her, to take her in as your wife, we now arrange for the marriage immediately. No waste of time. I'm excited of her. Uh, uh, Father, I have nothing to say until I see this daughter of uh, uh, Ogudo of uh, Adabowel. Uh, not, not, nothing to say now. Okay. You will love her. <laughs> Filled all the containers, all the pots with water, even the containers. Right. Have you gone to Oporto to bring back the yarn I dug out yesterday? I mean, the one I told you that I back under the Itaku tree. Yes, Papa. I've, I've, I brought the um, two baskets. I'll, I'll bring the remaining one after I finish eating. Uh, how dare you? you? You are here eating, and my yarns are still there in the bush. Pa Papa, trust me now. Back it no, 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 no. Let me leave this place. Okay. In another one. Ju am a 
Saramo, be Saramo. Waga, weak bones, eh? Is he warm, Maduki boy? I've seen you only once, but you left a mark in me. Waga, what in my be Saramo, be Saramo. A busy now, and I will be the Saramo biggie. Anarugo mo bodo mo, mani kwego bim zuri ke. Wongo woma e pesara mo, pesara mo. Ezi mo madu kipu e, pesara mo, pesara mo. Who are you and how did you come about my name? I'm sorry. I met a man by name... Uh, I think he saddled the responsibility of uh, collecting the fishing levy. I asked after you and he told me everything. Please, why, why, why are you leaving suddenly? I've gone to Okwe. But your picture keeps rotating in my mind. Please, I'm lucky to have found you here. Just give me little attention, Mogo, please. I wish I could, but I can't. Why? I am disappointed. What? You have just confirmed that the likes of Ekulkaralu are the friends you keep. No. You must be like him to be his friend. No. I am sorry. No, 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 please. It, it, no, it's, I am it, sorry I can't. It's not like that. I, just listen to me. Oh, I knew it. I knew that that character, Ekulukaralu, does not have integrity. Why did I mention his name? What? of Ezuka Kingdom, sitting down here and you are passing without saying a word. Is, is that a mistake or something you did to know what I'm going to do? <laughs> Ekulukaralu, is this possibly why you called me back? Eh? Hey! <laughs> Ogonna, you have suffered. Do I look like one of those maidens you can intimidate? Hmm? Do you know your problem? Your problem in this kingdom is that you don't know the men to respect. <laughs> so, you see yourself as one of those people Ogonna must respect, eh? Do you actually think I don't know where you're going now? As you're walking? Do you think I don't know where you're going? Let me tell you. You are going to Ire village, my own Ire village, to go and sleep to Ozo. Yesterday, you, Ogonna, you slept with Jidofo. And last week, you, Ogonna, you slept with Agozio in his hut. I know you are surprised with what I know about you, but I'm pleading with you not to be surprised because I still regard you as one of the great women we have here in the Zuka Kingdom. I want you to equally regard me as a great man here that must be respected. But if you continue to play the stupid woman that you are, let me tell you what I'm going to do. A day is coming in this kingdom when one innocent man, innocent man will come and indicate interest in being your husband. And I'm going to sit that man down and give him a low down of all the men I know who have tested your apple. Listen to me. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Um, please, please wait. Please wait. Hey? My father told me that 
that the men of this kingdom do not gossip. Eh? Please tell me, are you going to do what you just threatened? Hmm? You know, I keep asking myself, Okwaza, Jidofo, Agozi, and all these men you are giving you up, all these men that are going inside of you and coming out, are they better than me? Fakamuma! Please tell me, eh? how did you get to know that I have something to do with all this men? Because I am a cool car along with you, you can't end up. There is nothing happening here that I don't know. Listen, you will not benefit anything if you ruin my chances with any suitor that comes for me. Eh? Please, please. Don't do what you just threatened to do, please. Only on one condition. Eh. And that is? You have to suspend where you are going now. And then you will follow me to my place. Give me the same thing you have been giving to this man. I don't know why you are stepping back. Listen to me. You have no option. You have to give me the same thing you have been giving to this man. And once you do that, then my mouth is sealed forever. But if you continue to play the stupid game, I will do exactly what I threatened. So the choice is yours. Are you coming with me? Anya Leje. Isomana. myself before my father the king, your royal majesty. Welcome, my king. May you live long. You shall reign after me. He said. And your reign shall be. He said. He said. He said. Mother, I greet you. You welcome myself. Yes, sir. You sent for me, father. Yes, I did. Um, stand up. Her name is Manyemma. She's the daughter of Ogudo, of Adabowale. She's the one we have groomed to be the next queen of this kingdom. She's the one we are going to marry. Right from birth, she has been trained to live like a queen. I have no doubt at all. Prince and heir apparent to the throne of Okwe Kingdom. You're a man who can do anything for this kingdom. Right from bed, you believe that there's nothing impossible and you can do anything. And once you've made up your mind to do anything, you can, nobody can stop you from that. That's impressive. Really impressive. But naturally, these qualities will always scare a woman. So why are you not scared? Maybe because I'm a warrior like you. There's this cardinal thing about you. You can do anything to defend this kingdom. Same with me. I think we have same orientation about life. Impressed. Uh, so, when was it that you knew about me? That you were going to be my wife? Right from when I was a child. I was meant to know that you're the man for me. And I was meant to love you more and more. <laughs> uh, so, so you are meant uh, who, who, and who are these people? My parents and the people the king engaged and saddled with the responsibility of grooming me into a woman. <laughs> Sorry, my dear, but this is funny. What's funny in it, my lord? The fact that they spent time 
grooming an amazing beauty like you for me without anyone telling me about it? And I know you make me your wife. My dear, this is the first time we are meeting. We will continue this meeting. But I must say that you are welcome. Thank you, my lord. Hope you make our parents happy by making me your wife. Talk about yourself and your happiness. Forget about your parents, okay? Um, Ugobe, I called you because um, as it is now, I now have my doubts. The maiden they groomed for the prince is finally in the palace. She's gorgeous. She's beautiful. They groomed her into a queen. Um, I called you to apologize for troubling your, your heart. The prince may never marry you after all. I was not hoping on that. Hmm? I already know about the prince and the maiden of Adabo Wele that is groomed for him. And it's quite unfortunate that you work for the prince as a personal assistant and yet you don't know anything about him. Yeah, it may seem so, you know. But just as they kept him in the dark about it, I was kept there also. I never knew about their plans until today. And now that you have known, hmm, can you now leave Ugebo Yubo alone to do her job in this palace as a maiden? Thank you. Um, I was thinking, you know, now that the prince seems to have someone that he will marry, mm. that um, you will start thinking about me, you know, you and I. <laughs> what do you think? I am not disappointed. You are a real man of Okwe Kingdom, always ready to take advantage of every situation. Now let me tell you of all, I am not thinking what you are thinking. I am still the one serving the prince. I bear his call. And as long as I am the one in charge of what he eats, I can never condescend so, so low to your level to, to, to think of what you're thinking. Thank you. Uh, uh -huh, Ofo, let me warn you. This will be the last time you will ever call me to discuss this issue again. Did she just insult me? She insulted me. By every standard, Father, she is a maiden of outstanding class. Good, good. Perfectly beautiful. Excellent. Ah, you know, Father, I must admit the people you hired to groom her into a queen did a fantastic job. Oh, wonderful. Oh, beautiful. I'm impressed by this world of yours. I'm encouraged by this world of yours. You've made my day, my son. But when are you ready to get married? When are you fixing the day for the marriage? That is where the problem is, Father. Yes, father. Problem again? What problem? Uh, uh, father, yes, she, she, she is gorgeous, uh, but uh, she does not appeal to me as a wife. Does not appeal to you as a wife? Yes, Father. You don't trust my judgment. No, Father, I trust your judgment. You, you are the best father. I mean, you, you are the best father. Then why do you reject the woman I found for you? Eh? Why? Father. And you've confounded that. She's brought up in the caliber of queens. Yes, Father. Father, let us not drag this thing. Father, the woman you found for me is good, but she's not my wife. I cannot say I know exactly what he's thinking, but from the way he was talking, I don't think he's ready for me yet. Why would you say a thing like that? My son, the prince, was the one that told his father that he had decided to take a wife. And he cannot go to him and say that if he was not ready for you. Maybe I expected much from him. I think I'll give him time to develop more interest in me. It's alright. I don't have any problem with that. But I want you to know that you are the choosing one for him, okay? And to me, you will make an excellent wife for my son. Thank you, Your Majesty, for your words of encouragement. I shall be on my way. It's okay, my dear. Sheriff, put some smiles on your face. Uh, the maidens will escort you to Adaba Ogori, okay? So, Sheriff, I swear with you, my friend. 
Take care of yourself. here with me and from the way he sounded I doubt if we can force him. Igwe, what I know is that force is completely out of it. If you will ask me, he should be allowed to marry a woman of his choice. Where can he get a woman better than one Where? Anyway, I called you here to talk to him. Go and speak to the prince. Is the prince in the palace? Of course, of course, of course. Um, or I know so. I bow before the king. You shall live long, your majesty. Take the chair. Go back to the prince. Igwe. Prince Nana, the Prince of IQG. This is the very first time you are visiting my house, the house of the Chief Prince of Ufo. <laughs> what brought you must be something serious. Tell me about it. The woman my father, the king, brought to me as a wife does not appeal to me. <laughs> I do not want to offend the gods of the land. Can I not be allowed to marry a woman of my choice? My prince, I already spoke to your father about this very topic. And I have absolute trust that he will not twat what I told him about your wife. Go to him. Ask him to brief you what I said about your wife. You're not getting me. He has briefed me on this so-called woman. She has even been invited to the palace. I've even had interaction with her. I'm here because, I mean, even though she's uh, beautiful and well-groomed, she still does not appeal to me as a wife. I am asking, uh, can't I be allowed to marry a woman of my choice? The Prince of Ope. Yeah. I spoke to your father, the King of Ope. In the presence of the Prime Minister of Ope. I can see you don't want to face your father about this. Then, go to Mwefi Ubukaro. He will tell you exactly what I said. And I know they will not want to allow the wrath of the gods to descend upon this land. Go to him. Igwe. Uh, Igwe, the prince is not in the palace. Even his personal assistant does not know where he went to. Uh, Father, fish may not be the only thing men go for when they go fishing. Does he mean he has a woman somewhere? Igwe, why would you say that? Yes, he has been going fishing lately. I comforted him and he said that fish may not always be the only thing men go for when they go fishing. Igwe, he actually said that to you? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I didn't read meaning into it until now. Does it mean that he has been going fishing for a woman? Or he has a woman already somewhere? 
Igwe. I don't know what to say. Ogonna, why are you behaving as if we are still strangers? You did what I asked you to do and you did excellently well. And I am excited. We are friends. Why are you behaving as if we are no friends? Ha! And that's the truth. You have just said the truth, eh? We are not friends. Sam, Sam, Sam. You lured me into the act. And I obliged you. Because you promised to shut up this your mouth. Eh? Ha! -ha. Listen, let me tell you. Don't push your luck too far. Don't. Because you will not like me when you provoke me. You will not like what I'll do when you provoke me. You will not, oh. Why are you sounding as if you're not from this kingdom? Ogonna. People in this kingdom do not know the test of soup. The test of any soup with only one swallow of and dead yam. For you to know the test of the soup, you have to swallow again and again and again. Hi! You know what I'm saying? Hey, Kalu. You're not serious. Eh? You are not. So you want to have me again and again, eh? Hi! Eh? Obrogo, omanle. You see, obrogo, omanle. Did you hear me? If it's a cause, it will not work. Ah! God forbid. It will not. Listen, don't make me to regret what I did already. Don't. Because you will not like what I'll do to you. I've said it again. You won't like what I do to you when you provoke me. I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait. What are you trying to do? You want to leave me here? Okona, listen. Don't see it as if I'm threatening you with our little secret. I'm not threatening you at all. I already told you that what we did is something that I have already buried in my heart. It is between you and I. And there is no way I will ever disclose what we did to anybody. It's not possible. So, what do you want from me? Ogonna, I want you to forget all the men in this kingdom that had you already. Forget them. I'm not bothered about them. I see that as what you did in your ignorance. And one thing about me is that I am not going to allow what you did in your ignorance. They are your wrongs. I won't allow your wrongs to hurt you. In fact, I am going to assist you to right your wrongs. I just want you to see me as a friend. We have a life together. Just appreciate me as a friend. That's all I want from you. <laughs> hey! Is this not the typical example of an Isuka woman that we get with our age? Despite all the in this kingdom, so we didn't have this kid, she's still not as if nothing happened. The family is still in the same region. I said there are two questions I wanted to ask you. First, do you remember what happened to Dike Ukadike of Onungene that made him kill his daughter and then hang himself? Enonenti, <clears throat> who was not even qualified to talk to his daughter, got his daughter pregnant. As if that was not enough. He boldly went to Dike Okadine, asking him to lend him money to come and pay his daughter's bride price. Dike Okadike killed the non-entity, came back and killed his daughter for bringing shame into his family, and then hanged himself. So, <laughs> why are you asking me about him? <coughs> Second question. Do you know the young man called the Mudokan Ralo? The same 
Kara law of Ire village. The one that was barred from attending village meeting because they discovered that he was the one revealing all their secrets to the village women. <laughs> I know him. Exactly. That same Ikulukaralo, that same young man that has no class, is sleeping with Togonna, your daughter. What? No, no, no. It wasn't. No, Lana. Sit down, sit down. Eh? Sit down. You need to handle this matter like a man with authority. Or the same dilemma that confronted Dike Okadike will come your way. Huh? Yes, just tell me that you are joking. Yes, just tell me you are joking. I humble myself before the elders of our. And where are you coming from? Where are you coming um, from? There are better ways of dealing with issues like this. Oh, Kuimono. Eh? I will be on my way now. Then we will see you. What is it about your life that you're thinking? I keep wondering why almost everybody hates me. I don't know what I've done. Then the only person who showed me some, some sort of care and even sang for me, I treated the person badly. I feel so guilty. And who is this person? I am asking you, what are you doing with Ekulika of all people? Papa, do you possibly believe what a stranger told you more than your own daughter? Eh? The man that just spoke to me is not a stranger. He is an honorable man of this kingdom. And he said he has seen you walk in into his heart. What are you doing with that man? He also said that both of you have been seen walking into the corners and rows of this kingdom. Are you telling me that there is no more shame remaining on your face? Papa, the truth is that there have been passes being made at me. Yes, not just from Ekurukaralu alone, but from different men in our kingdom. Papa, what I can tell you is that I have not compromised myself. I have not at all. And who are these men making passes at my daughter? Ha. Who are they? Why are you asking after them now? Eh? Do you want to go and warn them? <laughs> Papa, why do you want to go and warn them now? Eh? See, your daughter is very happy that they are making passes at her. Eh? I'm very happy that they are making passes at her. Calling me. <laughs> Desiring me. <laughs> Papa, that means that your daughter is in hot demand. <laughs> See, Papa. I know what you want, okay? And very soon, I'm going to attract the best suitor. I know that you'll be happy. I'm excited uh, hearing that from you. <laughs> Papa, I know exactly what you want. And that's what you're going to get. Best and everybody will be happy. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm listening. <clears throat> and you see, many men in this kingdom, mainly here in Awaire village, do not know what is happening in secret. That you have been sleeping with Ogon, the daughter of Obuefi Onze. But I know. Through or false? What kind of nonsense question is that one? Huh? What kind of rubbish question is that one? Did Ogonna in any way inform you I've been sleeping with her? I called you here this night 
to ask you questions and it will be appreciated if you answer those questions and don't ask me any. I don't care about the question you are, you, you are trying to ask me. There is an allegation going on here and I want to get to the root of this stupid allegation. Did she in any way inform you that I'll be sleeping with her? It is now very clear to me that you are trying to deviate into nonsense and I'm, I'm not ever going to give you the opportunity to take upper hand in this discussion. I want to ask you an important question, you know, for <clears throat> Do you have any plans for that maiden? I mean, good plans? Are you just damaging the girl? What kind of rubbish, rubbish question is that one? Huh? What do you mean by, am I just trying to damage the girl? Wait, Ekulu, did you in any way invite me here to insult me or what? Do you know your, your, your biggest problem? Your biggest problem is that you cannot beat me. You can't even raise a fight with me. Because I will just kill you and bury you here. Okay. Thank you. Listen to me. I want you to stay away from that maiden because I want to make her my wife. I can't work, I'm going. <laughs> you want to make her your wife? You're not serious. Ekulu, you are not serious. You know, I actually called you to fulfill all righteousness because I know from day one you have no plan. You have no good plan for any woman in this kingdom. I know you inside out, you love every single man. But there's something I want to tell you. Back off. Ogonna is the one I want to marry. All the ones you have done already with her, go. God give you. I don't want to disturb you. Why don't you blame me? But don't go near that girl again because I'm a good person now. That we are here this night will show you that the issue is very important. I don't know why. We are treating it as if there's no problem. That is the truth, Your Majesty. There is no problem. You are only disturbing yourself. Iche, Ugo Belonoj. Did you understand what we said? The prince, heir apparent to the throne of Okwe Kingdom, is nursing the idea of marrying a woman from another kingdom. And if I may ask a boy if you Bukalo, is there any problem if our prince marries from another kingdom? Both of you should understand that we are forbidden from imposing a wife on that young man. If his choice of wife is not found, you know, the kingdom allow the young man to marry from any other kingdom. Ugo Benoji, why am I having the feeling that you are against me? Why must you support that which will terminate royalty from my lineage? And you say you are working with me? Your Majesty, did I hear you say that I, ah, you go Benoji, I'm supporting what will terminate royalty in your lineage? Your Majesty, tell me exactly that I am supporting. If we support, or if we allow the prince to marry the woman from another kingdom, the offspring from that foreign woman will not be allowed to ascend the throne after my son. <laughs> then we have terminated royalty family. If only I marry your boy, I have one year for a boy, Jije. I have a wife for you, Pumolu. Your Majesty. Your fear can only become real if our prince marries from another kingdom without the blessing of Odalonio. The mad peace of the gods. I am interested in knowing what you mean by that. <laughs> Send message to other kingdoms around and even beyond. Inform them that our prince desires a wife. Let them send 
They are beautiful maidens to appear before our prince, right before Odalonyo Watri. Any of the maidens that our prince selects before Odalonyo Watri shall receive the blessing from that sacred tree. Her child will definitely emerge a king after the father. What we have now is very important information. Yes. And I'm sure that uh, the chief priest will never ever reveal it to anybody mm -hmm. as he did it the other one. Mm -hmm. So we better hold on on the information. <laughs> My king, what do you mean by hold on to the information? You have already got the prince mm. by telling him that his son will not ascend the throne as a king if he marries from another kingdom. Yes. Eh? So I'm sure that by now you will be thinking less of rejecting my mom. <laughs> eh? You will be thinking less of rejecting. Mm. So keep what the peak priest have told you now. Yes. Secret. Mm. I'm sure we die. Nana, we marry my mom. My king, I, I am sorry. Uh, you too. Also, we have to withhold this information from your wife, the queen, because if she hears it, it's as good as the prince has had it. Trust me, I'm the king. Yes. Eh? Trust me in such matters. Eh? I'm the king. Igwe. Trust me. Igwe. Hmm? <laughs> Good night. Good night, Igwe. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Why are you standing there looking at me like a missing child? What is it? My prince, there is something important I wish to tell you. Something of great importance that could bail you from your dilemma. But the unpopular order you place on me has not allowed me to say a thing, and I will not talk. Uh, the order is temporarily lifted, so you speak. Yeah. Thank you, my friends. And yeah, see, my friends, um, if you marry from outside the kingdom, you would have succeeded in terminating royalty from your family. And I know you don't want that to happen. And uh, the maiden they groom for you, it's not up to what you want. Well, uh, shut up. That's not what I told you. I never said she's not up to what I want. But why will you reject a beauty as one, Yemma? Because even in her beauty, she does not appeal to me as a wife. I need a woman who will appeal to me as a wife. My prince, that brings me back to what I was about to tell you before you cut me off. See? Eh? Why not look in words? In words where? Yes, look in words, starting with the palace. I mean, take a look at Ugubi, for example. She could pass. Don't see her as a maiden. See her as someone that could pass for the queen. Huh? <laughs> Oh, my God.
I go and get Ugube for you to look at her this time around? Better. Offer? If you love her so much, go and start the process of making her your wife. And don't you ever mention her to me again. Now get out. Are you looking at me as if you don't understand my question? He said he wants to marry you, and I want to know the meaning of that. Ha! Uh -huh. That's because I'm surprised now about what you just said. Uh -huh. I don't have anything going on with Ekulukara Alo. Eh? Why will he tell you he wants to marry me? Eh? Without telling me anything about it. Uh, do you know what? Do you know what? I have this feeling that you are a flat in this kingdom. Chinikimi! Chidofo! That's an insult, and I will not take it. Uh -huh. Why will you call me a flat? Why? Ah. Ah. Okay. Swear. Swear on this that you don't have anything to do with him, Oya. Chidofo. Why would you ask me to swear an oath? Because Why? something is telling me that he has tested the woman in you. That's why he had this audacity to say to me as she back off that he wants to marry you. Swear on this. To prove me wrong, oh yeah? I hope you both realize the implication of what you're doing. An unmarried man standing loosely beside an unmarried woman in the corner, in the dark, at night. Hmm? It's not a decent sight, too. I hope you people know. Uh, Jidofo, that, that's my father's sleeve. Eh? I'm sure she's going to tell my father that she saw me. I have to go home. Have yes, to... come on. Hmm? Listen to me. We know who is who in this kingdom. That's your father's sleeve. Huh? Mm. That is what you call her. Yes. She is miles ahead of all of you in this sense in this kingdom. And you know what? Huh? See, you just refuse to swear an oath. Do you know why? The why is that you you've been sleeping with Ekulukola in this kingdom. And let me tell you, I am saying it now and right here. I'm going to make sure that I rubbish your reputation in this kingdom. Will you bet it? Bet me your honor. Now, wait before, eh? Hey. Hey. Okay. Hey. Hey. Look at me. Hey. It's a bonato. Eh? What are you doing like this now? Eh? What do you mean that? You don't love me anymore. It's a now. Eh? Hmm? It's me. Agana. Uh, Agana. I want you to forget all. The men in this kingdom that had you already. Forget them. I'm not bothered about them. I see that as what you did in your ignorance. And one thing about me is that I am not going to allow what you did in your ignorance. They are your wrongs. I won't allow your wrongs to hurt you. In fact, I am going to assist you to right your wrongs. Does it mean that Ekulukara Lu is actually better than all of them? Hey? Papa? Papa? Yes? He didn't have any to sell to me. When I got to his place, he said when he was returning from Obolo, some men met him on the way and bought all he had tapped. Hey! How would he say all he tapped? Huh? I want to... 
All right. Um, call our governor for me. I said, call our governor for me. Papa, governor is not in the compound. How do you mean? Who told you that? Huh? Are you trying to tell me that Ogonna could leave this house at this hour of the night and you did not tell me? Papa, I didn't even know when she left. That same Ikulukara, that same young man that has no class, is sleeping with Ogonna. Let it not be that Ethiopia is right. Where are you coming from? I am asking you, where are you coming from? Papa, are you questioning me before this one? Papa, it's not fair. Papa, good night. I hope you're not angry with me because of the lies your slave told you about me. She didn't tell me anything. A are you confirming to me that she knew where you went to and she lied to me? Mm, Nam, mm? should we stand here and talk? I only went for a walk, eh? And now I'm back to sleep. Mm? Is it not better we talk about this tomorrow? Eh? Be cool. Hey, Nam, mama. Mm? <laughs> Catch you for all. Good night. Papa, you're not cautioning Ogonna as you should as a father. She's really going out of control. Shut up. Remember, she is your twin sister. It's not everything that you will say about her. Papa, Ogonna sneaks out of this compound regularly every day. I have tried to talk to her, and you should talk to her because she is really going out of control. I am not there. You didn't tell my father anything. More way, you would have been dead. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Try. No grateful she nanya no man cow chinike na mo. Look at you. I will not participate in the process that will lead to your destruction, and that's because you're already destroying yourself. Now, if you know what is good for you, get out of my sight. Bia 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 bia. Wongo. Is it me you're talking to? Eh? Or gone now. Eh? Is it me? Where before? Is it not just you? Are you still coming? Look at me. Listen to me very carefully. I forgave you the first time because I believed you were drunk. Now, Obona or Gorgona. Obona Mogi. And you have no fear in you. Probably have extra energy plugged in your system somewhere. Try me. Mwamozo. Try me. Obuna me chiri gono nana. Chikwa si chagi chipu gezi nini ndo gono nana. Ema no abra mwa. Try me. Ano mpama. Ana po wogo nana. Ego ulo mwe. Okwagi. Okwagi. That's the apple. Don't worry. That's the chassis. I got one of these. I got one of these.
I overheard her telling someone that she was coming to this forest to face firewood. And that girl, I know her very well. She will never say she's coming here and go somewhere else. So I believe she's here. You may go in and look for her. And I, I wish you the best of luck. Thank you, sir. Uh, please wait with just one minute, please. Uh, I do appreciate your assistance. Uh, this is just to say. Any problem? I know about this necklace you are giving me. Okay. Very expensive. <laughs> this necklace is made in Opwe. You're right. And to the best of my knowledge, it is worn only by men who are categorized as mighty in valor. <laughs> so a common man like you, where did you get it from? You stole it? Are you giving me stolen item? Now, listen. We do so many things in Opwe. Stealing is not part of it. Do have this as a gift for me too. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> and hey, hey. Now that we are friends, I believe I cannot guide you. Okay. When you finally set your eyes on that maid, do not attempt to rape her. Right? I'm telling you because here in Izuka, there are two men. Then we are thoroughly beaten by her. That maiden fights like a warrior because she is affiliated with the gods. Be careful with that maiden. <laughs> Thank you so much. Best of luck, my friend. Is this not a forest that she said she was coming to? Why is she not here? Oh, is she no longer the decent girl that they've all talked about? Why is she not here? Find me. Who are you and why are you following me? 
beautiful maiden of Ezuka. My name is Nana. I am a man from Oku, as you already know. Please, I need a favor from you. See, follow me to Oku. I want to show you something. My dear good man of Oku, I like you. I like you because you have a voice and a positive attitude. I was hostile to you the last time we met and I regretted that. I promised myself I wasn't going to be hostile to you when next we see. But please, you must understand. I cannot follow you to Okwe. Oh my God, please. Okwe is not too far from here. Look, we can even go and come back before lunch. I promise you. I am sorry. Don't push it. Is a man with a cake of wine. It could mean a lot of things. But I will not want to put words into your mouth. I will want you to go straight to the point and tell me your mission in clear terms. <coughs> when you give me, go ahead. I will go and bring my people. This is just the first announcement and the man is expected to come alone. So that's why I'm here. Yes. Um, <laughs> you see, it depends on what you came to announce. <laughs> okay. Well, well um, thank you very much. Um, I'm interested in work. I want her to be my wife. You are the one she calls father. And you're the only one that can make it work. So that's why I'm here. Get off. You are a fool. Yes. You are a fool. Uh, 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 why will you call me a fool? I called you a fool. Because in that you have no eyes. That is why you came into a family that has two beautiful daughters. Two beautiful daughters. And <laughs> you have just settled for a, a maid. I mean, house help. Yes. Hey. Um, but to both you, I am the one getting married here. I'm the one getting married here. And I know the kind of woman I want to marry. That poor girl, that has help, that has distinguished herself in services and in decency. Please, Obwevi, she's the one I want to make my wife. Please, give her to me. Jidofa, leave my compound. Uh, I said, Leave my compound now. Obuefi, this is not fair. This is not fair. You're not being fair here, Obuefi. Huh? Be like a father to her and give her to me as a wife. See, I promise to be the best husband she will ever have in her life. Don't Please. leave my compound this minute. I will not be responsible for what happens next. You don't for leave my house. Come back here. Come and carry this your cost to work. Take it away. I 
I say, move. You are trying my patience. I say, leave. Just imagine. Why are you blocking my path? Is it because you have power? Eh? <laughs> that is why you have the right to call yourself a man. Eh? Wait. Are you insulting me or what? <laughs> call it anything you like, Jidofo. That is not my business. Mm -mm. But I'm warning you. I'm letting you go today. Eh? Because you must have told your fellow fools that you're coming to our place. And they'll come tracing you if anything happens to you. <laughs> but I am warning you today. <laughs> Continue to hide in this kingdom. Because if I catch you on a lonely path, any day, alone, I will crush you. Or God now have spoken. Yeah. Huh? Agonna, let me tell you, in fact, you are the worst fool to even think you can intimidate someone like me. Huh? What does she think she can do to me? Agonna, Particularly interested in knowing how you got this necklace. Oh, my necklace! <laughs> my necklace. You like it? Yeah. <laughs> it's mine. It belongs to me. Hey, <laughs> cool. Do you know what you are wearing? Yes. <laughs> this is Akalendi Zenozo of Ogwe. Yes. <laughs> the cost of this necklace is enough to buy young seedlings that can be used to settle more than a hundred farmers. Yes. In fact, this necklace remains the most expensive jewelry ever made by the craftsmen of Okwe. So, where did you get it? I am excited. I am excited because you know the value of my necklace. This is why I came to marry your daughter. Because you are a great man and your daughter is the daughter of a great man. I am happy because it takes a great man like you to know another great man. <laughs> That is my problem in this land. Too many people lying against me. I don't know what my offense is. Everywhere they are gathered, they are lying against a Pulukara. I don't know what I did. But sincerely, I am not bothered about all the rubbish they are saying. Because I am convinced that if people are not talking about any man, then that man is nobody. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Um, which of my daughters are you interested in? Oh, Obwefi. Here she comes. Ogonna, the daughter of Obwefi Unze of Izuka Kingdom. She is the typical example of Izuka woman 
who gets better with age? As we speak, Obuefi Ogonna here is the most beautiful woman in our Wizuka kingdom today. And she is the one I want to make my wife. What? Yes, my daughter. That is exactly what he came for. Judging from my interaction with him so far, I think he is noble enough to have you as a wife. Papa? Yes? Are you serious? Why would you jump into that conclusion so suddenly? Huh? You don't even know him that much. <laughs> my, my daughter. You see, you are still a baby. You don't know anything. You see, let me show you something. This is called Akale Ndinzenozo of Okwe. <laughs> See my daughter. Papa. Any man that wears this gets what he wants. <laughs> Akale Ndinzenozo. <laughs> We have to go ahead and organize the event. The priest will behold all the maidens, but he will not be able to pick any because he will realize that uh, none is as beautiful as one Yuma. And uh, he will come back and marry her. But uh, we have to be very careful. We have to be very careful. What we are doing. I hope it is not the same thing as imposing a wife on mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, you. Yes, the medicine man from Mokum told me that he will not see beauty on that day. He will be thinking of the maiden we groomed for him. Greetings to you, my father, the king. Greetings to welcome, my elder, the boy. I'm still wondering if you have decided to make me happy and marry the woman I found for you. Uh, father, the woman you groomed for me is not my wife. I know who my wife is. You sound as if you have someone already. Who is she? Oh, I'm still thinking. When the time comes, you will know. We shall no longer wait, my prince. We shall no longer wait. I don't want to impose a wife on you. The event has been fixed for the day after tomorrow. All the beautiful maidens will gather before Udalo Onyowa and you will make a choice. Listen to me. Hmm? I know what they are planning to do. They want to invite all the maidens in this kingdom. Maidens who are beautiful by their own standard. Now that is not what I want. If that is not what you want, make me know what you want. Are you possibly saying that you want to marry a maiden that is not beautiful? You shut up. Will you shut up? I've always told you, learn to talk less and listen more. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, I want you to go meet the chief town crier. Mm -hmm. Pay him an amount he has never been paid in the past. Mm. Let him go around this kingdom. Invite maidens. Not only maidens from this kingdom, from neighboring kingdoms. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Now you know what to tell mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. You know what to tell mm -hmm. him. Now get out. <laughs> I can't believe this. Yes. Wait, are you actually telling me that you want to go and marry that girl. Uh -huh. I mean, Ogonna of all people. See, I can count how many men in this kingdom that have gone into her. Why are you men of this kingdom? Why are you very wicked, very evil? Everybody is looking for a maiden who is not spoiled to marry. And I'm asking, who are the men that will marry those ones who are spoiled? You, all of you. All you men in this kingdom, you are looking for virgins that are going to make your wife. And I want to ask, those ones that are no longer virgins, 
you men, we are still the ones that lure them in and took the virginity away. Now nobody wants to marry the ones that are not virgins. And I want to ask, will men fall from sky to marry those ones who are no longer virgins? I give it to you. <clears throat> Naram, I give it to you first. No, don't go. I have come to realize you are more mature than me. <laughs> you know what? Because I will never, nothing will make me to marry any woman that I can count how many men that have gone into her. The only thing I can take from this discussion this night is that finally you understand the fact that I am bigger than you in this kingdom. That is something already established that, that you are just getting to know. Ikulu Karalo is bigger than you. Ogona is going to be my wife and she's going to be an excellent wife for me. There is nothing you can do about it. Do you mean to say that Obuefi Ibonze, of all people, agreed to your marriage proposal? He has no choice. Huh? He has no choice. Because he saw something bigger than 100 farmers put together. And he readily agreed to release his daughter for me as my wife. To him, Ogona, his daughter, is entering heaven. I am that heaven. <laughs> the marriage is already fixed for the day after tomorrow. And I'm inviting you as my friend to attend with me. We are there. choose the same day I have already selected as the day of my marriage for the selection. You cannot, Why? You cannot argue with the king of Okwe. That one is certain. Should not really collide. He is the king of kings. In fact, he's the king of kings around here. I want to give you advice as my friend. You know you're my friend. I want to give you my candid advice. Just postpone your event. Just postpone it. In fact, you're even lucky. How? The prince himself is still searching for a wife. But you? <laughs> you already made a choice in a maiden. That, in fact, a maiden that has just graced the nakedness of more than one, two, three, four, ten men in this village, including my... How dare you? You hit me and I will do it again. I will do it again if you fail to stop saying nonsense about that maiden I've come to love. Let me tell you something. Any other time you open your mouth to say damaging things about that maiden or gunner, who is going to be my wife, I will kill you. Let me repeat myself. Read my lips. I will kill you. Because my portion is not my portion. It's my portion. It's my portion. It's my portion. It's my don't allow me to punish you. I'm not gonna call you. In fact, you see here this copper they get the woman catching a girl. I'm off you. Hey, Kulu. I'm not gonna show you. I'm not gonna show you. Hey, Kulu. Oh, mo. I'm not gonna. Come out, you have. What is this? Is this law for spirit? Huh? Nothing on earth can stop. The victory of love, love. You can impart that. 
In that case, can we go and sit down? Uh, you don't need to bother about sitting down because I'm actually in a hurry. Uh, did you listen to the tank crier? Oh, last night. <laughs> yes, I listened to the tank crier. And sincerely, I pity the Prince of Okwe. Pity him so much. Why did you say that? Because the Prince is still searching for a wife. Whereas I have already made a choice in your daughter. <laughs> it follows naturally that I, I am far better yeah, than the yeah, Prince. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I'm actually here to inform you that your plan to marry my daughter is hereby postponed until further notice. Yes. Why? My daughters will be attending the event in Okwe tomorrow. And we start to talk about yours if the priest fails to choose any of them as his wife tomorrow. I come early to inform you so that every arrangement you have about our agreement tomorrow should hold on. Have a nice day. Why, why, why would we get select the same day? I already chose my marriage. Why would it coincide? There is a particular maiden of Ezuka Kingdom. I pray she comes for this selection. You see, she has an affiliation with the gods and I fell in love with her the moment I set my eyes on her. If she comes, she's the one I'm going to marry as my wife. But my prince, if you ask me, I would say you are making a huge mistake. Mistake? Yes, my prince. A very big one at that. Why not approach the selection with, with an open heart? So that you can pick the best. Don't go into the selection thinking of a particular maiden. Because you will not pick the best. It will ruin the occasion. Yes. It's the best. Good evening, my prince. I humble myself before the prince of Okwe. My lord and my love, your reign shall be great. My beautiful Maima, please rise, please. Follow me. Where are you going to? The king meets him in the throne room. Okay, okay. Okay. Excuse me, my friends. Excuse me, my friends. My beautiful Waima. I assume my father wants us to talk. Why may I ask? I've lost count of number of times you address me as beautiful. You me, hold me as beautiful and still don't want to make me yours. Why are you doing this to me? Why are you working with my parents to weaken me? The event has been fixed for tomorrow. But why, why don't you allow me to make this selection in peace? Who am I to disturb you, my prince? I came because the king sent for me. I don't want to keep the king waiting. I know I shall be married to a great man. You're that great man. My beautiful Waima. By every standard, you are a beautiful woman. Waima, you have a voice, a voice that can melt any man. You have an unequal attitude and more than the caliber of queens. Please. I know you are hurt by my position of this. But please find in your heart to forgive me. I want to approach this whole selection with, 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 with a whole lot of concentration as a prince of this kingdom. Please. I'm the one working closely with the prince. I know his mindset. He's not going to marry that maiden they brought for him. <laughs> Tradition says she's not participating tomorrow because she has already been selected by the king. They invited her over so that the prince will see her one more time before the procession tomorrow. But that's funny! Huh? What do they hope to achieve with that? They believe he might still change his mind at this time meet and marry her. It was Ichi Obukalo who insisted that they should give them one more chance to talk at the same Hey, why you ma? My prince! Yes? The beautiful maiden. Left here in tears. What happened? 
Empress, I'm talking to you. What did you tell her? I told her the truth. And what is the truth? Listen, I want to be left alone. I want to approach tomorrow with every sense of concentration. But my prince, the, 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 that beautiful maiden I just left here for Madame Bowen, it's a sensation. I doubt if you can get any maiden that will come tomorrow that will equal her beauty. She's beautiful. My prince, she's gorgeous. Do you realize the implication of what I just happened? Eh? Do you realize it? He looked at her again and rejected her. Which means that your medicine man does not know what he's doing. Igwe, what he did is against tomorrow, not today. He gave me his word and I believe him. So let us not jump into conclusion. Tomorrow, we shall gather before the secretary and we will know whether he knows what he's doing or not. Please. take their destinies into their own hands. That is what I want you to do. Wait, please, please, wait, wait, please. Don't go. Please. Guide me. Please tell me what I must do. A maiden like you should be in Okwe, doing what other maidens are doing for before the prince. Why are you not there? Why are you here, sitting, crying, as someone who has no hope? Do you know why you are not coming with us? You are not coming with us because you are a slave. Yes. The Prince of Okwe is selecting a wife. And you know that he is not going to select you. He's not going to select you because you are a slave. So you have to stay back here. Clean the house fresh water and the firewood and make sure you prepare something i will eat when i return back mm. my daughters Papa. let's go <laughs> said I must not set foot in Okwe. Moreover, I'm a slave and the prince cannot marry a slave. That is where you're wrong, my dear. The master has no say in this. The prince of Okwe is the only authority that decides. If he selects any maiden and such maiden is a slave, the stigma of slavery will be cleansed under the Udala Onyuwa 
and the maiden will become a freeborn. Stop your agony. Move now to Okwe. Please, for the friends.
Sonu. My name is Ekuta, my friends. Are you from this kingdom? Yes, my friends. I'm the daughter of Uzo Ibuki of Aobulu village. Oh, I see. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you my friends. this matter because the prince is being guided by the gods and remember there is a maiden of Adagbowele that was groomed for the prince yet he rejected her if that one is not angry we have no reason to be angry please pay us that I can see that the maidens of a land are blind I said calling a total stranger the best is not enough for the prince he actually went after his slave listen Adana I see sense in what the put us say. oh please I mean, the priest is being guided by the gods. And we can't stand here and question his actions. Questioning his actions is the same as questioning the gods. I can see you are out of your mind. Mm -hmm. Both of you are out of your mind. <laughs> I think you have a point here. Oh, please. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm doing everything possible to understand. Why are you excited? I've been cracking my brain. Why are you excited? I am so excited because it worked. What worked? Why are you saying that such type of nonsense? What worked when the priest is already planning to marry the slave girl instead of the beautiful woman we grew for him? And you are telling me, you are telling me it worked. Eh? You are telling me it worked. Just relax and watch. Aquasa, Aquasi is the name of the child. Igwe, the confusion that happened today were triggered by the charm. The aim is to confuse the prince. He will finally marry the maiden we groomed for him. So Igwe, be happy. Eh? Be happy. Be happy, Igwe. You see? I ordered you when we were leaving that you're not permitted to come to Okwe with us. Why did you defy my order? Papa, I did it all. I did exactly what you told me to do. I went to the forest to fetch firewood. As I was fetching the firewood, one woman appeared and told me to go. <gasps> A woman told you to disobey me and you listened to her? I bring you great tidings of peace from Ezekiel 1 of Okwe Kingdom. 
Anybody here? Okay. Your life is hanging on the balance. So don't create any sin or make any noise. I'm coming. My royal palace messenger. You're welcome. Greetings. Please come inside. I must offer you cola. My prince is devastated. I cannot think anything. I came here to fetch the slave girl that lives with you. She must return with me to the palace now. The slave girl is not here. She ran away from the square and has never come back. As a matter of fact, I'm coming my daughter down. Uh, I mean, my daughter who was at the verge of being selected. Uh, she's devastated as prince himself now. The slave girl, do you know where she could have run to? I don't really know where she is now because I ordered her not to come to Okwe with us because the prince cannot marry a slave. But she defied my order and that don't amount to date. So I haven't seen her. She is the chosen one. The one that consumes the heart of the prince. It will be suicidal to kill her. So don't think about it. I'm very surprised uh, you are still calling her the chosen one when I have just told you that she's a slave. Eh? How can a, a, a prince of Okwe marry a slave? How can? She eh? is the chosen one, like I said. However, the prince asked me to give you these. Return the slave girl to him. And you'll be a happy man for the remaining days of your life. And these, you will have more. It's all right, I'll send my greetings to the prince. Uh, I will look for the slave girl and bring her to him. I take my leave. Uh, with I have been engaged by the Prince of Okwe. So presently I am looking for him. I will come back later for us to discuss. It depends on your reason of coming back. Because as you can see, what we have at hand now is bigger than your former proposal. And I advise you leave me for now. Leave me for now. Hi, Okona. I will make your life miserable. You will see. Mwa. Oke gwi na go ne me malele. Akwi ne be ne me tu no bi. Ke di fenge me ke momo madu. Na ba kazi amo. O mwa gon ke malo maho. O mwa gon ke di mube. Ne kwa mwa gon ke bom madu. Na ba tamo. Oh, one gun came along my Oh, one gun came to me. Oh, one gun came to some mad. Now, but as I am. Wait, 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 wait. Why in this world are you smiling? Eh? Are you making a mockery of me or what? I have encountered him severally in the bush as a commoner. I didn't even know he is the Prince of Okwe. There you are killing yourself. Myself before we the greatest young farmer of our Izuka kingdom. You shall live long. What is the meaning of this? Kneeling down before me. Wavy. Ever before I made up my mind to make Ogonna your daughter my wife, I heard a lot of damaging things about her. 
I ignored everything I heard because I love her so much. As we speak, Obwefi, Ogonda, your daughter, is the woman in the center of my life. And I can lay down my life for her. I have come before you again with best of wine to plead with you to allow me to marry the woman I love. Obiko. Ekulka. If you continue like this, I will be forced to believe what I heard about you before. Eh? That you have no class. Obue Bunu Ekulka, Ralu of Izuka Kingdom, is a man of many sides. Anyone that says I have no class has no class because it takes class to see class. I came before you to plead with you to allow the slave girl living under your roof to be married to the priest of Okwe because she is the one he loves. You cannot impose Ogonna on the prince because right before everybody, he rejected Ogonna. Biko, as you can see, the slave girl is nowhere to be found. And I cannot make the prince to marry the woman that is on the road. He will marry Ogonna because she remains the one that stole his heart before the Odala Olo. What you have to do is to look for someone to marry. The Ogonna you seek has been taken by someone who is mightier than you. It's enough. Stop doing this. Oh, God, now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Something tells me you're still excited about what happened at the secretary of Okwe. Now tell me, why are you still excited? <laughs> Maka, he held my hand and said that I remain the best he has ever seen. He already asked me to follow him. And I'm sure he was going to introduce me to the king before that witch that my father brought from Odias. He ruined everything. Oh, God, now, my dear sister, if you will listen to me, forget the prince of Okwe and marry Ekuluka Ralu. Please. Why would you say a thing like that? Huh? Who is Ekuluka Ralu? Eh? Oh, you don't know him anymore. I said, who is Ekurukaralo? Eh? Why in this world would you ask me to forget the prince who already called me the best before everybody? Why? Huh? Oh, yes. He said you were the best. And then something mightier than you forced him to drop you before everyone. <laughs> My dear sister, he gave you the humiliation of the century. And I'm really bothered that you're not thinking. Ekurukaralo has continued to beg you. Remember, remember that this is the same man who knew all the men you went in with and still he wants to marry you. That is true love and that is the kind of man you should think of getting married to, not the Prince of Okwe who doesn't even know what he wants. You're not talking. Amaka one name, that's where you got it wrong. Huh? The Prince already knows what he wants. Oh, Mwako Nacho. Ogonna. I am what he wants. And let me tell you, by the last AK of this month, he will make me his wife. <laughs> Keep dreaming. Keep Watch and see. You are now my friend. And I have to guide you in everything. Thank you. You deserve the best. Thank you very much, my prince. You see, I was scheduled to marry Ogonna. That very day, you chose for your selection. If not for your selection that coincided with my date, Ogonna would have been married to me by now. In fact, she, she's supposed to be living with me as my wife. She is my best, the one I love so much. This is why I came all the way from Ezuka, from Ezuka to meet you here in the Palace of Okwe, to plead with you, my prince, to please leave Ogonna for me. Mm. <laughs> My interest in Ogonna evaporated yesterday. In fact, I'm not going to marry her. You are a good man with a good heart. A heart to listen to the plight of the poor and the downtrodden. 
Thank you very much, my prince. Is there a way you can send words across to Obufi Onze and tell him what you have just concluded, what you have decided, so that he can allow me to marry Ogonna, please? I said you deserve the best. Ogonna is not the best. And you're not going to marry her equally. My prince, how could you say thing like that? You don't know her at all. I do not need to know her, my brother. I do not need to. Listen. My, the chief priest of Okwe Kingdom spoke with me yesterday. He opened my eyes to so many things. That Ogona is a loose tie. She's a useless woman who doesn't have control. Do you know that every man who ever desired her actually had her? He knows all that. She's a real definition of a scarlet woman. Let me tell you the truth. I would have made the biggest blunder by making her the queen of Okwe. If not for the gods. It would have been a disaster. Hey. I, I'm so surprised to see that the gods are involved in this. I found out. I did. You know that uh, a slave girl did not want to attend the selection. In fact, Obwefu Ikbonze barred her from coming because she's a slave. It was the gods who went to her in the form of a woman and convinced her to come. She's the one I want to marry. My prince, this is not very complicated. Because Mogo you're talking about, Mogo has been missing from Ezuka. Nobody knows where she is. She knows that Obwefu Ikbonze will kill her for disobeying his orders. As a result of that, she, she ran away. And ever since that time, nobody has seen her in Ezuka. Hmm. The last Eke market day of this month has been fixed for the marriage. I just hope a miracle happens and those I sent to find her, find her. In fact, any man who finds her automatically becomes part of the ruling class, you know, and shall benefit from the gains of the land. So what happens if by the last take care of the month, the slave girl is not found? Well, I'll just settle for Waima. Uh, Waima is uh, the beautiful lady my parents have been coming for me. In fact, she's an excellent woman. The only problem I have with her is that she knows too much about me. She, 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 she has been groomed for me. She has been taught about me. Everything she knows what I will do. She knows what I will not do. In fact, she can predict me with intimidating accuracy. That's my only problem with her. But if you ask me, that is good. It is good for somebody to have a wife like that. A woman who understands him. A woman who can predict him the way you have just described. It is good, my prince. No, maybe to you, not to me. I don't believe a woman should know a man that much. No, it's not good. That's not what I want. Well, if I cannot get a slave girl, I'll just settle for one more. Obwefi Ponze, this is your call. Imana, it's a wine girl, walk at the and add them. It's a walk at the cross, my address, and add this woman. You are the man of the house, and you are the one to give out your daughter in marriage. We have come in peace. And I'm pleading with you to do what you are supposed to do as the man of the house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, if you are welcome. Um, <laughs> you are welcome. Thank you. <laughs> His name is Okadike from Abulia village. He has arrived with his kinsmen. They came with all these gifts. It's here to seek for your hand in marriage. Personally, I see nothing wrong in it. Because I know his family very, very well. My daughter, if you walk away from here now, that shows that you are not interested in why we are here. But if you collect this one from my hand, 
drink from it and then pass it over to him in my presence. That will show that you are interested. And I will take it up from there, my daughter. in this land and many of them are more beautiful than my daughter so why did you settle for her she's the best that's why I settled for her we know who is who in this kingdom you see Amaka is one of the women that have separated themselves from the corruption of men. She is qualified to be married to a man that will cherish her qualities. And I humbly submit to be that man. She accepted me in peace and she will live in peace all her life. Oh, that sounds impressive. <laughs> you know that her twin sister will be getting married to the Prince of Okwe come the last decade of this month. The only implication I see there is that you are going to be the co-in-law with the Prince of Okwe. <laughs> I think that should make you happier. Uwefi, I still wonder what the Prince of Okwe found in Ogonna. What do you mean by that? Eh? You see Uwefi, Ogonna and Amaka are the very perfect explanation of the saying of our people. Meaning, though they are twins, Ogonna is the perfect definition of a scarlet woman. But Amaka represents decency of the highest order. I'm still waiting to see what the Prince of Oak will found in her. Okay. If not for one, I would have killed you here now for making that stupid and nonsense statement. What do you mean by that? Eh? But Obuifi, you cannot, you cannot kill your in-law for speaking the truth. I will kill you if, 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 if you insult me. I will. Uh -uh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Obuifi. I'm sorry. Any man who finds her automatically becomes part of the ruling class you know, and shall benefit from the gains of the land. Oh God. Mug, where can I find you? Where can I find you and benefit from the promise from the Prince of Okwe? Yeah. Why do you sit here all day and all night hoping to find the missing princess when you have not made any move to find her? Who are you? Anyone that finds her for the prince will become a member of the ruling class of Oakley Kingdom and will benefit from the gain of the land. If I were a man, I will not sit in my house thinking, whereas there's something that can change my life out there, waiting to be found. I don't know who you are, but listening to you, it is clear to me you know a whole lot. I don't know what you want from me. I have searched everywhere here in Ezuka Kingdom. Every forest. I've even extended my search to other kingdoms around here. And she has not been found. What else do you want me to do? Do you want me to relocate to the forest? Because I'm looking for a maid? You have not found her yet because you have been looking in the likely places where everyone believes she will be found. So far, she has not been found. If I were you, 
I will look for her in the unlikely places. Search in the unlikely places. Woman, where is the unlikely places? That she could be found. Keep on the keep on unlikely places, because. Is it in this kingdom? Or where? Look at that, Diva. Decency is a virtue money cannot buy. By every standard, you are a beautiful woman. You are qualified to be queen. I selected you because in my opinion you were the best. But he who communes with the gods, the ancestors of this great kingdom, opened my eyes. You are not qualified to be queen. Yes. Peace. You're not qualified because uprightness and decency are not part of you. You're not qualified because you have been living the life of a scarlet woman. I selected you in the presence of everyone here. I am also rejecting you in the presence of everyone. Yeah. Come, fair one. How many times? Where did you find her? Papa. Yes. She looks as if she's going to die. Yes. She doesn't deserve to leave. She's a slave. She will die here and nobody will perceive the order. Because the liquid I force her to drink will not allow her body to decompose. Okay. I will figure out how to get rid of her body. That saves her right. Yes. You see, you are my daughter. You are going to marry the prince of Ogwe and nobody will do anything about it. Um, don't let your sister know about this because she is a weakling. She will let others know this secret. Okay, Papa. You can count on me. I won't tell her anything. I won't. I trust you. In the most unlikely place, as the woman advised, Partnering with Ogonna, the daughter. She was poisoned by Obuefi Bunze here. Yeah! Peace, peace! 
and he abandoned her in his barn field with Yam to die. My prince, now I understand what you mean when you said she's afflicted with the gods. Because all these days we combed all the bushes and all the forest of all the kingdoms around here looking for her. She was kept in that barn filled with yams, in that unlikely place, and she was have neither food nor water. But she survived by the act of the gods. Stop them! Guards! Lock them up. Peace! My brother. My prince. Thank you so much. You are automatically part and parcel of this great kingdom. He is indeed a great man who has distinguished himself and part of the future of this great kingdom. He was saved from the scarlet woman because he deserves the best. Mwaima, you are the best. I pray the two of you find happiness and allow me to stay with the one woman who is the center of my life. My brother. May you all find peace. Father. This is the one woman, the woman who stole my heart, the woman who is going to be my wife, the future queen of this great kingdom. Let the girls decide. Who are we to raise objection? When the gods say yes, who are we to say no? Many forces were raised to stop this marriage, but the gods have decided. She survived distractions. Come, my son. On this AK day, I bless you. He said, You shall be blessed beyond the limits of the other Chukata mo buyoso, achunye ya nebe kama.